We sat down with the co-host Brian from the Habitat podcast and talked about some controversial topics, if you will. And we're talking about crossbows and cell cameras, his opinion on them and the ethics that go around them. Hope you guys enjoy this conversation. Here we go. All right, here, a little controversial. Do you think uh, crossbows should be legal in, in archery season? In what capacity too? This is a hot, this is a hot, uh, hot button issue. And I'm not trying to upset anyone. Sure. But I think it's in the forefront of all, it's on the forefront of my mind. I feel that I'm not trying to be negative, but I feel the sport of whitetails is potentially declining. Like the the age class, I think, is probably going in a different direction than what it was a couple of years ago. And I think it's with the, some of the tools that are available now. Sure. So what's your opinion? Yeah. So, I mean, that's a tricky one because just like Sunday hunting in Pennsylvania, crossbows weren't always legal in PA. That's a recent change. So growing up, the archery seasons were set because they were more challenging. So you had more opportunity. You had a longer season because it was more difficult to kill a deer with a bow. So I think that that part of it kind of rubs people the wrong way. It's not as difficult, which people make the arguments with the new compounds and wrist releases and everything. Okay, I, I mean, I'll give anybody that argument. But just to make a point, that's that's one side of it. Another side of it was the way that they came into Pennsylvania. It wasn't like hunters in Pennsylvania said, hey, we'd like to have crossbows. It was all the money from the manufacturers pushing trying to get them into the archery season. And that rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. Me personally, I don't hunt with a crossbow. I may someday, I don't know. I can't say today that I don't think they belong. In, in the past, with the traditions the way Pennsylvania was, it didn't make sense to me the way that they came onto the stage, but they're here now and more people are getting involved. Kids are hunting earlier and staying with the sport longer. Older people are staying in the sport longer. So that's all good. I try to focus on the good no matter what Fair. the subject is. So it's a tough call. I mean, I, when I listen to people's arguments on either side, I can see both sides of it. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a reasonable, that's a reasonable way to look at it. I think in a perfect blue sky situation, and this is just my opinion, I think it'd be interesting to see a shorter, like a crossbow season. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a week, maybe it's a weekend before firearm season, weekend after right. firearm season. And obviously that's different throughout the state. And it is starting to affect the harvest numbers of oh, yeah. bow seasons. Yeah. And that concerns me and other bow hunters because you start to wonder, is my season going to get shortened because crossbows are upping the kill ratio? Yeah. There's, a, yeah, it's really interesting to me. And I think that. <laughs> So you're, I 100% agree with kids and in those scenarios, I feel like <laughs> how you have like the guys that shot trad bows and were just super anti compound bow. Right. I feel like there's, that is repeating once again. Yeah. yeah um, there's a lot of similarities there. Yeah. And it's, it'll, it's going to happen regardless, but we can sit here and talk about it, but we're not going to change anything. <laughs> so uh, we can at least share our opinion and uh, provoke some thoughts. Right. Speaking of just in terms of ethics and legality and, and things of that nature, there's been a lot of attention on the ethics and legality of cell cameras. Obviously, we're a trail camera manufacturer. That's how we stay in business. Um, I think they're a really cool tool, but I want to get your opinion on it. Yeah, I don't think that they need to be restricted in any way. Some of these live ones that are starting to come on the market where you could push a button and have a video and somebody run out their backyard and kill one, that's getting a little bit sketchy for me. Uh -huh. But the way that we're using them now, the way that there's, I mean, it's its an instantaneous picture or video. It depends on the situation. Most of my friends, and, and I'm fortunate to be in the position like you guys, you know a lot of people in, mm -hmm. that are hunting, and you talk to a lot of people that are using cell cams. In some instances, people are having more success sure. killing bucks. But I don't think it's like something that it's just, totally change where they're going to have to stop because the numbers are, are getting too high of the harvest. It's I don't think it's affecting it to that point. I'm a great example. I haven't filled a buck tag in a couple of years. So, <laughs> you need more and I've got 30 cameras out. So. 